President Joe Biden might find a successful strategy for securing a second term by emulating former President Barack Obama's approach, suggests David Frum, a Republican who never supported Donald Trump. Frum highlights that Obama also faced weak approval ratings in the year leading up to his re-election. In November 2011, Barack Obama had an approval rating of 43 percent. At present, Joe Biden's approval rating, according to 538, stands at 39 percent. From argues, regardless of the theory, one must take into account a peculiar coincidence, the close resemblance between Biden's approval numbers and former President Barack Obama's first-term figures. He points out that during October 2023, Obama's disapproval rating reached 41 percent, not far from Biden's 37 percent at the same point. However, it's essential to recognize that the world in 2011 was vastly different from today. The job market was struggling, unlike the current robust conditions. Immigration trends were reversed, with fewer arrivals. China's economy was thriving, not experiencing a slowdown. Back then, Ukraine hadn't been invaded by Russia, and the Obama administration saw Putin as a potential partner rather than an adversary. Biden even discussed business opportunities in Russia with Putin. The world in 2011 also differed because China had not yet embarked on its military expansion. The Arab Spring uprisings hadn't led to the rise of ISIS, and Iran's proxies hadn't achieved the dominance scene in the Middle East today. Despite these differences, from notes that there are intriguing parallels. Republican leaders criticized Obama's competence, similar to how they view Biden today. In both eras, radical elements within the Republican Party were driven by conspiratorial theories, such as birtherism back then and Ukraine-related narratives now. Speaker John Boner's leadership in the House faced challenges from the radical fringe, leading to a showdown over the debt ceiling in 2011. Frum suggests that perhaps the issue isn't the president but the nature of the Democratic coalition. One significant difference between Obama and Biden is the latter's age, which has become a noticeable concern even among less politically engaged voters. While Obama maintains sharpness and wit, Biden's age-related frailty and occasional confusion are more apparent. A recent Monmouth University poll found that 76 percent of voters believed Biden was too old, suggesting that age may continue to be an issue. Nevertheless, Donald Trump's age could mitigate this concern to some extent. However, Trump appears less weary than Biden, which could work to his advantage. Age is likely to be a significant issue in the upcoming election.